Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Royal London Theatre here in London, England, for a much anticipated main event. Scheduled for 12 rounds of heavyweight action between these two great warriors. Fighting the number one corner, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Tangers. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, the Guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a nice clean fight. All right, touch gloves. Let's box. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. During your training career, is this the type of matchup that you liked when you had a power puncher facing another power puncher? No, I hated it. I never wanted to fight a big banger. I wanted to be the only guy in that ring that brought that to the party. The left hand that came raining in on him. He does not look good right now. Expect him to clinch. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Well done that time. Oh, bad intentions is in a bad spot right now. He's been stunned. Oh, he's in bad shape here. He's stunned and he's wobbly. The only thing he has going for him is he's not a fighter that uses his legs anyway, and you can't use him right now. He's a guy that likes to move his head. He's got to start doing that. Try to cement. Oh, right off the bat, he goes down. Round number one, and he's on the floor. Came out a little careless, and he paid a price. up after that punch put him down on the canvas now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy keeping his hands up getting rid of his opponent's offense return to sender he gives him back one of his own Both these guys obviously hopeful that their cut men will be up to the task tonight. What does it take to be a great cut man? And you know, that's a great question. First of all, you better have the right coagulants, the right chemicals, the right medications in that corner. Avertine, adrenaline, and you have to have Vaseline where you can put it on it. But the most important thing, you have to be calm. You can't panic. And you have to put pressure on that cut, just the right amount of pressure. And then you put those medicines in it. And then you better have a fighter that can give you a round or two. He can move around and not get caught right away. Give the medicine a chance to work. Blocks that belt line well. There's a taste of the sweet science. You see the skill he has in counter punching. And you know what he's doing? He's taking his opponent's jab away. End of that round, and the knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, the fighter who was floored, how do you treat him? Do you, go, do you go soft on him when he comes back, or do you get right in his face? What's the way to approach him? You have to know your fighter. You have to know the temperament of your fighter. Some guys, you know, they just kind of roll up into a ball, and they don't come out of it if you get too strong with them. Other guys, they react well to that. So you've got to know what he reacts to, first of all. And the most important thing, you have to get information. Why did he get dropped? You had your right hand down, you got hit the hook. Get your right hand up. You'll be okay. And another shot comes in. You know, you go out there, a fighter like this, you were just knocked down in the last round. Now you got to go out there, you got to prove to your opponent, hey, I'm fine. You got to prove to the whole arena, hey, look at me, I'm fine. You also have to prove a lot to yourself, though, don't you? Yeah, but you have to remember, that's a good question, but you have to remember 
this fighter has been there before. So just remember, I have dealt with it before. And then you have to beat David Copperfield. A little bit of a magician, a little smoke and mirrors, and con your opponent. Let him think you're all right. Let him think you even want to fight when really you just want to buy a little time. Place counter by bad intentions. <laughs> Halfway through round number two. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Final 10 seconds of round number two. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. We come to the end of this round. Teddy, a round in which maybe a lot of trainers don't like to see because it was a very busy round for both guys. Well, it depends what kind of style, what kind of strength your fighter has, or even what kind of weaknesses. If I had a guy who likes to box, who likes to counterpunch, I want a guy coming at him. Not with a lot of TNT in his gloves, but coming forward where my guy is well suited. He can pick him off a little bit. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Bad intentions is not going to the body, but Teddy against such a fast fighter, shouldn't he? Yeah, he should, but, you know, his corner should have recognized that going into this fight. You know, he shouldn't be finding it out as the fight goes on. He should have came in here with that plan. Oh! Wow, no doubt about it, affected by that right hand. If I were him, I'd be hanging on a little bit here. Come on, keep busy, guys. Come on now, come on, come on, keep... Watch the headshot. Good counter punch. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Keep it going. by bad intentions. Very good work with that power hand right there. Good, strong, straight shot. So effective as a power shot. Yeah, it is. And he's pivoting into it. Look at the way he's turning on his foot and he's putting his back into it. Beautiful.
blocks that punch. Last 10 seconds of round number three. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. So the round comes to its conclusion, and it's a round in which our man here, as he heads back, was really tagged pretty solid. So if you're the trainer in the corner, what's your approach? Well, you know, that's a great question. My approach is that I have to remind him that he's on common ground. He's probably going to think he's in a place where he's never been before, but I'm going to remind him, hey, remember you got hurt in the gym? And then give him something to correct the problem. You know, tell him some technical things that he needs to hear. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Good counter punch. Bad intentions, his strategy coming in was to land a lot of jabs. Teddy, you got a great amount with an A. Maybe even an A plus, Joe. That plus is the right hand. Once the jab has been there, bang, the right hand came just when it was supposed to. Give him an A plus. Oh, that's got to hurt. He falls victim to that big hook. Nice block by Bad Intentions. Good work now, backing up what he did. Boy, what guts. What guts to stay in there and gather yourself again after he was taking a beating. Yeah, what guts, what instincts, and what a set of whiskers. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. He's just not concentrating on the body as a target here, Teddy. No, and, you know, you wouldn't mind if he didn't have to. In other words, it all depends on the scenario. This scenario says that he should be going to the body, and he should recognize that. And that's part of the talent of a fighter, recognition, that you have to recognize where the opportunities are. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Lands the counter. I don't think that blood's going to be a big deal in terms of his vision. It's on the cheek. He just doesn't want any cut to worsen. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. Round comes to an end. And that's one of those rounds, Teddy, that just takes on a certain style, a certain characteristic. And that was a busy one. Yeah, it was a busy one. Look, Joe, you don't have to look for these guys. They're right there in front of you. Why do you think that is? Why do you think sometimes you just get those rounds where it all happens? Because of styles. You know, styles make fights. In this case, you see in proof of that right there. Both guys that are aggressive, both guys that are very confident. from that headshot with the block. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Teddy, is this becoming a mental thing with him? I mean, he's not firing off the big power punches. I gotta wonder why. You know, that's a good question. Sometimes a guy is making a solid agreement in his mind that maybe if I don't hit him hard, he won't hit me hard back. He's not confident enough now to throw the punches without worrying about what to come back at him. <laughs> the 
blocks that belt line well. Halfway into round number five here. He scored well after being hit himself. Great fight. I mean, just a great fight. Both guys giving their all back and forth. It doesn't get much better. Sixty seconds to go in what has been a toe-to-toe -to -toe war. Oh, what a great round. And yet another right hand lands. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Very clever move there. A little defense turns to offense. The counter punch by bad intentions. It is unbelievable how this fight is being fought. Both guys unwilling to stop. One guy goes at it. The other guy meets him punch for punch. Well, you've heard it before. You've heard the term used one day at a time to deal with something very difficult. Well, this is one round at a time. That is the only way these fighters, these warriors, could deal with this kind of pace. This has been a very entertaining fight. A little time to reflect here at the end of this round. My thoughts being this. I would really be surprised if we go to a decision here. It just has that kind of feel to it. Yeah, it has a feel to me like going to one of those places where you can eat all the pasta you can for one price, you know? And some guys get carried away. They eat about five bowls. Well, these guys, they're going to have a stomach ache at the end. Somebody is going to wind up not standing at the end. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Blocks that punch. Holy cow! Bad intentions is damaged by a left hand. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. A crafty counterpunch after a fine defensive effort by Bad Intentions. Bad Intentions is making for a very frustrating round now for his opponent because he's moving so much. He's really utilizing that ring and showing that he's got the better footwork. Yeah, he's doing what the old times would say, Joe. He's giving angles, keeping his opponent off balance. His opponent is strong, but he needs to be set to punch. He's making sure he doesn't allow him to get set. Doesn't give him that kind of landscape. of the sweet science you see the skill he has in counter punching and you know what he's doing is taking his opponent jab away targeted counter punch by bad intentions well he told us all week long hey i want to keep it on the outside i don't care where he is this fight's not going his way right now no it's not and i don't care how long he is how tall he is but just look at his feet. When he throws punches, they're sliding forward. And that's why he's not keeping that advantage on the outside. And this round comes to an end. A round that was highly entertaining. They put forth a nonstop effort. Well, that's the styles that they figured to bring to this fight. Both guys with good motors.
Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. And a well-placed combination by bad intentions. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. A nice block by bad intentions. Wow! He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Bad intentions is now pushing away a bit. He's creating some space. Able to counter that attack. Bad intentions is making some costly mistakes here. Number one among them is he's not moving his head at all. No, he's his stationary target right now. And now the only thing that he's lucky about is only one coming at a time. But in a little while, his opponent, you know it, his opponent's going to start putting them together. Then he might not be here anymore. Wow, just sit back and enjoy this one. You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. So it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. Protecting his head well with his guard. And he returns on that exchange. <laughs> Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Turn to sender, he gives him back one of his own. Sharp and accurate one-two by bad intentions. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Final 10 seconds. So the end of the round. And now a chance to put the pieces back together. He got stunned in that last round. Yeah, well, he has to get those birds out of his head right now. You know, open that cage up and let him fly out there. And the best way to do that is find out why he got stunned. What did he get hit with? And he scores again. Oh, and look at this, Teddy, wasting no time getting to know each other. No, they came right to the center ring, said hello. <laughs> Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. <laughs> nice block by bad intentions. Punch there. Bad intentions is doing exactly what he told us he would do. Now he was stunned earlier in this fight, but he's sticking to that game plan. You know, I like that. You know, I want to see how a guy behaves under pressure. He hasn't panicked, you know. He still believes in his identity, believes in his talents, his abilities, and he's gonna stay that way unless the guy convinces him later on. There, but then he targeted one right back. Blocks the headshot. Twists and turns and the non-stop battle, it continues on.
as we've reached the one minute mark to go. That's a tried and true method that works out very well. The counter punch landing by bad intentions. Teddy, this is one of those moments where you just wish you could pick up the phone and call up the world and say, tune in. Everybody should be watching this, right? I have a cell phone. I might do that right now. <laughs> Start dialing. As that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. And Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. Turn the sender with the left hand. Good looking counter punch. the headshot. Forceful uppercut by bad intentions. Well targeted counter punch by bad intentions. I think it has come to that point. He's behind on the cards. He's just got to be. It's going to take a knockout to win this? Yeah, I think so. It's going to take a certain kind of attitude or strategy, a change in strategy. You go into the fights, you don't look for a knockout. You're looking to use your jab. You're looking to set up punches. You're looking to go rounds. Right now, he's got to find a way to get a knockout. Look for one punch. One big punch right now. away that headshot. It's going to be a big deal in terms of his vision. It's on the cheek. He just doesn't want any cuts or worse. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Sweet science, you see the skill he has in counter punching. And you know what he's doing is taking his opponent's jab away. The action starts up again, but it's only favored one man. Hard to see this fight going the distance based on what we've witnessed so far. Showing you some defense there with the block. Defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Oh, so he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand.
comes right back with some offense of his own. Not able to land the headshot. Bad intentions is Knight is now starting to snowball downhill on him. Things haven't been going well. He's taken some big shots, and he's behind on the scorecards. Uh, right now, he needs to look for a trick, a little bit of a spot. He's not going to win the fight with his jab. It's too late for that. He's not going to win it by putting punches together to the body on the inside. He needs to find a way to land the big shot, and I think it can happen. It can happen with a left hook when his opponent throws that uppercut. Maybe just time him and catch him with that perfect shot. What is one of the best rounds you'll ever see? Just great action. No, it's unbelievable. I mean, if you love roller coasters, you go to an amusement park. If you want to see left hooks, right hands, every direction, great chins, great endurance, great heart, you come to this fight. You stay right here. Neither man slowing down as we have 60 seconds to go in this round. A stinging uppercut by bad intentions. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. Blocks away that headshot. Now, blood's coming from his nose right there. That's not a big concern. What's more of a concern is the blood that he may be swallowing from that damage in the nose. That was not well targeted by bad intentions. of the round here, a round that saw a lot of action. The kind of round that fans pay to be here to see. Well, these are TV-friendly fighters, and we figured that coming in. Certainly don't stand in front of us. Let's, let's get on that swelling. Get on the swelling. They start up again, back to action here with another round. But who knows how much longer it'll last. This has been a completely one-sided fight. Blocks that punch. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Nice block by bad intentions. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. because this is a fatigued fighter we're seeing right now. Well, I saw him in the diner the other night eating a cheeseburger <laughs> at midnight, and you know what? Right That's about, not a good sign. No, right? no, right about now he's sorry about that. He's wishing it was a garden salad. Comes right back at him with a left hand. What a fight. What a great, great non-stop action fight this has been. A little defense turns to 
to offense by bad intentions. head well with his guard. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. As we come to the end of the round, Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, that's one of those rounds where I wonder what were the judges looking for because it's tough to kind of draw a line between those two fighters. Yeah, very close, but one of those rounds where you could steal it. You did a little bit more in those last 30, 20 seconds. Maybe that's the impression the judges are left with. Fires right back at him. Well, obviously, what his opponent has done here is the reason that cut is in the shape that it's in. So if you're him, just keep doing what you're doing? Yes and no, Joe. Of course, it's easy to say, yeah, keep doing what you're doing. But what if there's a little change? Your opponent's cut, now he's going to move his head, you figure, a little bit to survive in there. Now you shouldn't go head hunting, even though that cut's there. Now you have to adjust. Oh! Bad Intentions is stunned, and he is hurt. Come on now, guys. Keep it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Up and down. Side to side. Locks it away. Defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. There it is! Bad intentions has been stunned! Punch it out! Punch it out! Punch it out. And from long range, he's able to get... And for the second time tonight, he goes down. from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. <laughs> Able to show you his blocking ability. Go. Let's find out by sending it up Ladies to the ring and announcer. Gentlemen, tonight, the judges have reached a unanimous decision. Your winner, the Intention. Bad Intentions is your winner by a unanimous decision. Well, he started going to the body and it paid off for him, and it paid off for us. A good, solid fight. It was indeed, and we're glad you were with us to witness it. That does it from ringside. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us.